the motion of similar buildings on different bedrock will be exaggerated to show the arrival of compressive P, shearing S, and rolling surface waves from a regional earthquake. Three consecutive seismograms will show the changing frequency and amplitude resulting from the change in rock type. The initial P wave arrives with a compressive bump and rarely causes much damage. The slower shearing S wave introduces a side-to-side -side motion that can throw loose objects to the floor and may crack walls. The rolling surface waves are the most damaging in unconsolidated sediment. As surface waves enter the sedimentary layer, they slow down and increase in size, causing buildings to roll. If not engineered for the motion, they can crack and tumble. But even a well-engineered building can sink during the shaking and liquefaction of underlying wet sediment. The first seismogram from the pink building on solid ground shows low amplitude, high frequency waves. When the waves hit softer ground, they slow down and increase in amplitude. It's this higher slowing roll that is so destructive during an earthquake. 